So now we're going to look at the cost planning in impact and for now we are going to start with planning one specific project which means we're going to use the impact model viewer. Um, later on or in another movie we are going to, uh, to show you how to cost plan from different uh, elements from different projects uh, but then we'll use resource man manager instead. There is many different ways how to uh, cost plan the elements from the model. Uh, one is simply to click the element and then we uh, click the cost planning tab here, open the calendar and the correct division and we can see here this week from the 18th May and the 22nd May. So we drag the element down here to the table we want to put it and the date we want to put it. So we can see here it's planned and it's green in the um, model here. We can also see that in the element tidy grid that now there has uh, the element has got a cost number, a planned production date and also the status 30 which in this case means let's look at the status colors here, here number 30 scheduled. Another way is to uh, drag it from the, the, um, the grid here. Let's look at another, another um, wall here, uh, which has no cost number yet. We select the elements and we can drag it from this, this square here, drag and drop select elements. So, so um, we drag it from here and for number two the same day and we can see here new cost number plan production day 18th and new status and what we want to do when we're finished this day when the when the when these uh, elements are costed at the end of the day we mark the tables we want to um, change states for right click set status and produced. And let's see here. Now the status is updated to 40, which means in this case costed. And they also got this production date. So we know that the element is costed on the 18th of May. Okay, so let's go back to the model view and uh, the detail view to show you some out of cost function here. Uh, but I think we will look at hollow cores in this this time. So let's click, double click hollow core floor number one. And there is no cost planning made here. Um, we have to change from division number three to hollow core. So here you can see six uh, predefined beds. Um, what we want to do here is select a couple of of elements and we click the auto cost management so this dialog shows up um, we then choose cost order uh, in size so we start with the with the smallest one or the thinnest one in this case and we use all the beds uh, in this case press start and we can see ha here that we only used three of the beds and looks like this in the calendar. Here we have two shifts. Uh, so it's shift number one and shift number two. So we used uh, bed number one, two and three on Tuesday here. Uh, what we see here at the right is the elements on the bed status 30 in this case which means that they're only planned and not produced we can click only this bed set produced and they will show up as produced what this also uh, does is that it locks the element to the the cost when they're produced they are not able to move from one day to another or from one cost to another uh, we can see in this case where, where the elements are only planned, uh, the blue indication here and planned. 
let's say that this element uh, wasn't uh, produced this day and we will move them to Wednesday instead. We just click here and we drop them at uh, the next day. But this is not possible when the elements are produced, as you can see here. And yeah, we, we take them back. And this goes for the detail view as well. So we'll be able here to um, to move the elements uh, from one bed to another here in the case where they're only planned. But you cannot do that uh, from a bed that is produced. As you can see here, it doesn't work. Uh, yeah. You're also able to select more than one and move to this bed here. If you want to squeeze the gaps together, you click bed here, right click and squeeze gaps together. Another way to do the cost planning is to use the transport planning uh, and I'll show you how to do that. Mm, click the detail view here and we have the transport uh, planning tab here. So if you have the transport planning made in impact model viewer, you can click this tab, lift it up to here. And instead of showing the model view, we show the transport planning here. Um, we'll show all transports. And we have this three here. In this case, it's walls. So we show cost planning tab, calendar and walls here. Maybe let's show detail view. So now maybe we want to, to um, cast cast plan the, the walls from transport number three. Let's just select all the elements here, we cut them out and we click out to cost in the cost planning, use all the forms in the erection order in this case. Press start and these are the walls from transport number three. So that's one way to do it.